I'm Dave Wolver, professor at the University of San Francisco. I'm going to show you App Inventor for Android, Google's new environment for creating mobile apps. And I'm going to show you an app that was designed by Daniel Finnegan, a um, USF student that uh, took my course last semester. Uh, his app was called No Text While Driving, and I'll, I'll call this one No Text While Biking. Um, you start off in App Inventor by showing what the user interface will look like. So I'm going to drag in some um, user interface components. Uh, I got a label, a button, and now a, a, a text box. And what this app is going to do is kind of auto-respond to, to text. So I'm going to say the uh, text in the box below will be sent as auto-response um, when this app is running. So this is just kind of the instructions for the the person that's riding the bike who's you know running this app, um, and then th this text should say what what's going to actually be sent back. So um, I'm biking right now. Uh, I'll get back to you later. Something like that. And then on this button, we're going to want to you know, basically this is the change response button. So we're going to just have it say change response. Um, so when the user clicks that, the, that will change the response and actually save it to a database. And we'll get that get to that in part two. Now I'm going to rename a couple of these components. I'm going to call this the response text box. Um, and it's important to, to name these components because when we program the behaviors, um, that, that'll help. And this is, I'll call this the change response button. OK. Uh, I'm also going to drag in a couple more um, components. These will be non-visible components. One is called the texting object. And it's non-visible. And this is like the little man in the phone that, that's going to receive the text and respond automatically um, to it. And then um, to get ready for part two, I'm going to drag in a TinyDB component, and that's that's the database component, so we'll be able to save the message um, persistently. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the uh, blocks editor. This is where you program the behavior, and uh, you know what this uh, uh, you know palette shows is is all our components we have. Um, there's also a built-in palette that shows you know kind of basic programming stuff you might want to do. But well, you know what this app wants to do is respond to a text. So I'm going to take out the texting dot message received event, and uh, it tells you you know the number of uh, the text that came in, the phone number, and also the actual text. And in this case, what we're going to want to do is send a message back. So I'm going to put a send message block. And the way this component works is you need to set the phone number, and you need to set the message. And you do, to do that before you actually send the message, of course. So the number should be set to the, the phone number of the sender. And any arguments uh, like number can be found in my definitions. So I'll grab a block from, from that. And this is the text they sent me or sent the app. And what I want to send back is, is our auto response text. We called that the response text box. And uh, this is either the default that we put in as a programmer, or if the user's changed it, it'll be what the user has changed. And that's what will get sent back to the user. So you know, here's, here's our program. Text comes in. Uh, we're going to respond back to that same number. And we're going to send basically whatever is, is in this box, this message, um, whether the user has changed it or, or not. Um, I can click. Click connect to phone right now and test this app um, immediately. If my phone is plugged in with a USB port, I can also um, go back to the designer and uh, and say, um, "Look, let's let's actually download this to my phone and click on show barcode. The barcode will come up in about 20 seconds or so, and you can scan it and and download it to your phone." Um, so anyway, in part two, I'll, I'll show you some extensions where, where the app actually speaks aloud the, the text that comes in, and, and we also use some location information um, uh, to do it. And anyway, that's, uh, 